Hey, today we're gonna paint a mural in my laundry room. I already got started uh, blocking out the colors. This is my first big mural. I painted a small mural at a friend's shop a couple years ago, but I've learned a whole bunch since then. And I recently got a house in Michigan, so now I can do anything I want and I want to paint a mural. So I mocked up a drawing on my iPad and we used my sister's projector to trace the image onto the wall. So that made things so much easier. And I'm trying to only use the paint that I have. I have a bunch of these little um, sample jars from like Home Depot and Lowe's and I have quite a few colors. And then the rest, I think I'm just gonna mix acrylics that I already have to create custom colors. We'll see. So, I'm just going to film the process, see how it goes, and then show you the before and after. See you soon! I haven't decided how I'm going to actually do the detail yet, if I want it to be super painterly or if I want it to be more paint by number style where everything is almost like a vectorized shape in like the detailing and stuff so we'll see I'll play it by ear see how it goes I'm gonna stop here and check back in with you when I have the rest of the colors blocked in and then we can start doing some detail work. All right, here's where we're at. Everything's blocked in and now I'm just gonna start adding detail and I'm kind of just gonna wing it. I'm not gonna follow any specific plan. I have a couple reference photos that I pinned on Pinterest um, like some vintage botanical illustrations and stuff, but I kind of just want to play around and not follow anything too closely and just see where the style goes. So let's do it. Just for quick reference, this is the mock-up I did. I kind of like how it's pretty simplified, but I might make it more painterly. We'll kind of see how it goes. Maybe I'll do a mix of the two but it's gonna be cute. Okay, I'm gonna start painting some leaves. This is the type of inspiration images that I've been pulling from, so I'm kind of just going to use this as a guide. Let's paint some leaves. I'm using the same color all over anywhere where there's a shadow. Trying to keep it in a limited palette, but I tend to overwork things, so I'm gonna try to keep it simple, but we'll see. I'm gonna keep going and I will update you when I'm further along. Okay, this is where I'm leaving it today. I, I did like 75%. Now I just have to do all the pink flowers, which if I'm being honest, I'm procrastinating on because flowers with a lot of petals intimidate me and my brain can't comprehend them so I guess we will see how it goes tomorrow. Okay today I'm going to attempt to finish these flowers. 
The drawing that I put on the wall as a guide got completely covered up with paint, so I'm gonna have to eyeball it using my reference that I have on my iPad. So fingers crossed, wish me luck, and hopefully we can get the floral part done today. I still have to get black paint for the background. That would be very satisfying, so. I'm already noticing that the paint that I'm mixing is kind of chunky compared to the wall paint because I blocked in all the colors with latex house paint, but I'm doing all the detail work with just acrylic artist paint and the texture is definitely more chunky and not as fluid, so the wall definitely has some texture to it, which is fine, but when it gets painted over, it's going to be there's gonna be like a lot of texture unless it gets sanded down but that's a later me problem so I'm just watering down the color I already mixed instead of trying to mix a lighter color it's almost like a watercolor -y texture and then I can get the mid-tone without having to mix a new color. I'm definitely learning as I go along here. It's easier to just buy individual colors of, of uh, the latex house paint. And then you don't have to worry about mixing the same color every time, but I knew that I was gonna be using enough colors that I didn't wanna buy like eight jars of paint when I already have so many acrylics. So as you can see, it's definitely going a lot more in the painterly direction than I said because I tend to overwork things, but I'm not mad about it. I think it looks pretty good. This mural in general is basically just practice for me to kind of get a feel for what painting a mural is like and how I would approach it and I'm already learning things that I would do differently next time. So. It's definitely a learning experience and it's, I'm just having fun with it, so. So I mix a little bit of green in with the pinky tone to make it more of a neutral because green, as you probably know, is opposite red on the color wheel. So to neutralize, I just added a little bit of green. That was way too much. It's probably fine, but it's still it's a little too gray. So I'm gonna mix up the correct shadow color and then finish this and I'll check back with you later. Say hi. Zoe's loving her new house. All right, ending in here. I'm still not totally happy with the flowers, but I'm going to give it the night and see how I feel tomorrow. I was just having issues mixing the paint colors and having the chunky texture that I was talking about. I mean, it's not the worst thing, but I'm just not happy with it yet. Next step is probably going to be to paint the background black and then maybe once all of this is um, like has all the crisp edges from the black. Maybe I'll add some black line work and that's how I'll kind of tighten things up or maybe I'll go back in with just some better mixed colors and really tighten all this up. But for now, hopefully only one more day of working on this and then we'll be done.
I'm back. Last night I painted for like two hours doing touch-ups and everything and stood back and realized the contrast still wasn't there and I thought about adding the black detail but I knew that I would probably regret it if it didn't turn out the way I wanted so I did a quick mock-up on my iPad which I will show now. As you can see I kind of just did a quick layer to see how it would look if I added in black detail and I thought it looked weird so I played around a little bit and decided to see how it would look with one more layer of a darker shadow and that's what I decided to do so I uh, have been mixing colors and now I'm ready to do the last little bit of detail and I left the layer in black just to use as like a guide for where the shadows are gonna go so hopefully that will keep me on track and I won't start overworking it to death because as you have probably seen I've been overworking this painting for a while this paint dried like two shades darker so the color that I just mixed looks exactly like this color but when it dries it should be darker but maybe that means I need to mix it even darker because I can't really see what I'm doing when it's showing up as the same exact color. Yeah. It needs even more darkening. Let's try again. It's crazy how much paint I just added to darken this color and it still doesn't look dark enough but hopefully when it dries it'll be correct. Okay I'm gonna stop because I'm starting to overwork it again. So I'm gonna do the shading for the other two, two kinds of flowers and then I'll finally be ready to do the last layer of black. So I'm quickly just gonna perfect any edges that got smudges, like right here. Okay, I'm gonna sign my name and then we'll be done. Mm -hmm. 